After the unboxing video and the short preview, it's time for the first field test of the Ultramic 384KBLE, an ultrasonic microphone for bioacoustic studies on insects, rodents and bats. And this is a perfect place to do this. We'll see how to use the Ultramic connected with an Android smartphone using the Bat Recorder app for bioacoustic monitoring of bats. We need a few things. An Ultramic fit for KBLE. An Android smartphone on which the bot recorder app is installed and a USB OTG cable. You can download the bot recorder app from the Play Store. It's really cheap considering what it offers. We'll see it in this video. A phone holder. It's available on the Dodotronic website. It's a simple bike phone holder, but we have the ultra mic instead of the bike handlebar. The phone holder allows you to hold your smartphone and microphone together, but we'll see in the next videos that the ultra mic is very versatile and can be used in many different ways. So we are ready to start the bioacoustic monitoring of bats. The app starts to listen to the microphone. The microphone picks up calls from a bat in the distance immediately. It's time to look for bats and see in detail how the bat recorder app works. You'll discover that it is very user friendly and intuitive. As we have seen before, by tapping this control, the app starts to listen to the microphone. At the moment, we don't hear or record any sound. But the spectrogram of the sounds picked up by the microphone starts to appear on the screen. We can see different things on the smartphone screen. Frequency axis, time axis, waveform viewer and the color palette used in the spectrogram. We can change the scale of the frequency and time axis simply with two fingers. This control allows us to adjust the amount of gain applied to the visual display of a signal. This only affects the display's playback and trigger sensitivity, but doesn't modify the amplitude of the recorded audio signal.
EIE is the first BAT. This is the spectrogram of BAT echolocation calls. BATs emit these sounds, which are very often ultrasounds, to scan the environment around them. The BAT recorder app also allows us to listen to the sounds picked up by the microphone in real time and in different ways. The first way is heterodyne mode. In heterodyne mode, the BAT recorder app mixes the BAT call with an ultrasonic signal created by the app, then filters this sound to produce the difference between the two sounds. The sound produced is audible to the human ear. When this mode is selected, a tuning line indicator will appear on the frequency axis. A green line indicates automatic tuning. In this case, BAT recorder will attempt to automatically set the tuner to the optimal frequency for the incoming signal. To toggle between automatic and manual tuning, just double tap on the frequency axis. The tuner will change from green to red and the red line indicates manual tuning. To manually adjust the tuning frequency, just drag the indicator. The second way to listen to the sound is a frequency low pass filter, but it isn't useful for making the bass ultrasounds audible. Finally, the third way is a frequency division mode. In this mode, the app analyzes all the frequencies in the recording and shifts them into the audible range by dividing these frequencies by a factor of 10 or 20, depending on settings. Obviously, the bot recorder app allows us to record the sounds picked up by the microphone while we are listening to them. There are two controls to start recording. This control can be used to manually turn recording on and off. With this control, the app will record all sounds picked up by the microphone regardless of their frequency or intensity. On the contrary, this control allows you to automatically record incoming signals based on the parameters specified in the settings panel. Only sounds that match these parameters will be recorded. A long press on this control will turn on an optional listening timer that will periodically listen and record the signal based on the trigger settings. If your smartphone's geolocation is on, both these controls allow us to save sound recordings with their GPS coordinates. Finally, this control provides access to many settings and parameters, general settings, 
settings to set automatic recording, to adjust heterodyne mode, geolocation and many other things. You can find all the functions and features of this app in the user manual. In the next video, I'll show you how you can manage your saved recordings with the Bot Recorder app and how to listen to them in time expansion mode with the app itself.